Show some love, Avery. Woo! Speaking of Jesus Christ, is it just me or am I the only one who thinks that at the end of these rocks there is definitely a sacrifice at one point in time? Oh, shit. Am I right? Like by the tree or some shit? Yeah, I see that. What's up, guys? Woo! You guys having fun? Woo! Uh, I'm not Count Dracula, okay? I am Count Kushila. I'm pro weed. Because it's a lot easier to kill stoners at night. So easy. Plus, I use it for medicinal purposes. It, if I smoke, I can actually go out in the sunlight. It's, it's tight. Oh. So, uh, some fucked up shit happened to me the other night, guys. So, really, really fucked up shit. I was at my girlfriend's work, and we were smoking a cig. And then, out of nowhere, a car pulls up. And it just dies, like halfway up the curb. And I'm praying to God that this person doesn't ask us for help because he's driving like an old, like a 1990s Ford sedan, you know, like the old cop cars we see everywhere. Which means there's only two people that still drive those cars. Drug dealers or undercover cops. And neither are my cup of tea on a Sunday night, okay? Pops his head out the window. He's like, hey, man, can you help me push my car? Yeah. So me and my girlfriend walk over there. We're helping him push his car. And it's going nowhere. And he has no idea why it's going nowhere. And then he looks back and sees that it's my girlfriend and me pushing the car. Which means the car is never going to get anywhere. So he gets out to help us. And remember, like, he's on a curb and he's like at the top. So my eye level is to his chest. And when he gets out, the first thing that I see, guys, is a huge swastika and white power tattooed on his chest. And this is a weird scenario for me because I'm Jewish and I'm pushing this man's car. And I'm just telling myself, whatever you do, don't let him know. Just don't let him know you're Jewish. We get his car parked. He looks at me, he's like, hey man, can I have a cig? I was like, ah, sorry man, that was, that was my last one. Which was a lie, I had a full pack in my car. I didn't lie to him because I was scared. I lied to him because I'm a cheap Jew and I did not want to give him a sick. And I was like, fuck, I already blew my cover. He's going to kill me. <laughs> then my girlfriend's like, oh, I got one inside. And she runs inside and leaves me in a neo-Nazi alone in an empty parking lot. Plot twist, I end up talking to this Nazi for 30 minutes while sharing a cigarette with him. And he's the nicest man I've ever met in my entire fucking life. And it's starting to piss me off because he hasn't been racist yet. And it's really <laughs> pissing me off. Because I want him to be racist so I can just leave the conversation. But he's a nice guy. And then out of nowhere, a black guy just starts running. Runs across traffic, screaming at the top of his lungs. And the Nazi was just like, oh, he must be in a rush. <laughs> I was so pissed. Uh, and then I was like, oh, someone must owe him money. And the Nazi laughed. And I was like, fuck. I just made a joke about a black guy to a neo-Nazi. And he laughed. I need to get the fuck out of here. So I get in my car. And as I'm pulling away, I roll the window down. And a part of me wanted to tell him I was Jewish really bad. But another part of me really did not want to be a s'more at a bonfire that night. So I was like, uh -huh. But I was like, I have to do it. So I rolled the window down as I pull off. I just yell at the top of my lungs, Mazel Tov, motherfucker! <laughs> and I have yet to see that man, so I hope he died. Uh, I've, uh, I've, I've, I'm having trouble being productive on my days off. Like, today I didn't work at all, and literally all I did was just lay in bed and just started farting and Dutch ovening myself. 
just because I was curious, you know? But it wasn't all it wasn't all pleasure, okay? There was some research behind it. I wanted to find the difference in sound amplitude between like a smelly fart and a non-smelly fart. Because people say loud farts don't smell, quiet farts, you're in trouble, man. I found out it has a lot more to do with temperature too. Yep. I found out a loud warm fart is a smelly fart. A quiet warm fart, you just shit your pants. So I shit my pants today. I've, uh, I've started to work out again. Unfortunately, I've started to work out again. It's, it sucks. I just, I was running on the treadmill and I just started bleeding. Like for no, I just started bleeding because it's been that long since I've been active. I don't want to talk about where. But the main reason I started working out is because I tried my girlfriend's shirt on the other day and it was loose on me. And I never want that to happen again in my entire life. Also, I'm taking peyote next week. And I, I don't want to find out that my spirit animal was like a retired mannequin from the Gap store. I don't want that. That'd be a bad trip. That's my time, so unfortunately I'm going to have to bring David's blind ass back out here. David, get your ass out here.